in 2023, Bitcoin miners saw a profit surge, yet challenges like the halving event loom over smaller players. After facing a downturn in 2022, Bitcoin miners reported healthy margins in 2023, especially those with access to inexpensive energy. Um, according to Compass Mining, companies like TerraWolf and Cypher Mining uh, achieved gross margins exceeding 60%. On average, prominent mining companies reported margins of nearly 47% in the first quarter of 2023. And concurrently, the Bitcoin network's hash rate, a measure of its computing power, witnessed significant growth over the past couple of months, reflecting a bullish market cycle, including more for being caseable. And Knight discussing more hash rates obvious. First, there is no migrated of the civil versus conditions which will be done at least to execution. This is active and competitive mining landscape. However, the industry also faces challenges. The anticipated Bitcoin hamming event in April 2024, which will have the block rewards from 6.25 to 3.125 Bitcoins, looms large with fewer new Bitcoins rewarded for mining. Miners may face challenges covering their operational costs particularly if the Bitcoin price and transaction fees don't rise proportionally. The reduction in rewards can lead to less efficient miners shutting down their operations, affecting the overall network. Smaller miners may need a price surge to maintain profitability. Uh, the SEC's approval of 11 spot BTC ETF applications on January 10th has filled the crypto market with optimism that is likely to affect Bitcoin prices and consequently mining profits. Now let's delve into these aspects to understand the future of Bitcoin mining better. Uh, 2023 emerged as uh, a landmark period in Bitcoin mining uh, marked by several achievements and developments. And it's still vassal in the company, uh, all those things like this side in the past. Uh, instead, uh, the mining rewards amassed 36,657 BTC with a significant 21.75% originating from transaction fees, largely fueled by inscription activities. Uh, this period also saw Bitcoin's average market price stabilizing above $42,000, peaking in around $44,000. This market rally pushed the total mining revenue in December 2023 over a $0.5 billion screen. Why would he affect the fourth of pair geology that made by the beginning of the $1.7 billion? in November of 2021. In 2023, a milestone was achieved in the average monthly hash rate, surpassing 500 BH per second for the first time. This surge in hash rate indicates a substantial investment in the mining progress of the sector. An estimated $5 billion was invested in hardware, doubling the network's hash rate from 250 EH per second in Q4 2022 to 507 EH per second in Q4 2023. This investment was accompanied by a corresponding increase in power capacity estimated at 5.5 gigawatts. Large mining companies experienced strong success with Marathon's Mare Pool mining 1,853 BTC from 2021 blocks in December 2023, a substantial increase from the 475 BTC in December 2020. Um, there was also an impressive 18% month over month increase in the average operational hash rate for Marathon Digital reaching 22.4 EH per second, um, signaling a robust growth in mining efficiency and capacity. Um, but, uh, throughout 2023, miners enjoyed a 400% increase in average daily income from transaction fees, approximately $2 million per day. Uh, according to a recent Messari report, BTC miners received substantial venture capital investments in November 2023 out of 98 crypto-related deals during that month, around 90%, totaling $1.75 billion, were directed towards Bitcoin miners. Uh, this past month in crypto fundraising was led by BTC miners, with Northern Data and Phoenix Group raising $600 million and $370 million, uh, respectively. So those deals aside, the rest of the crypto venture market did $750 million in volume on 98 deals. This boost in profitability influenced Bitcoin's market dynamics as miners were less inclined to sell their holdings, thereby reducing the selling pressure on Bitcoin. 
and Incor Scientific had a productive 2023, generating 1,177 Bitcoin in December 2023 alone, and a total of 13,762 Bitcoin throughout 2023. This is achieved to an increased operational hash rate of 16.9 iLight. Their revenue in December soared to 49.7 million, a 38% increase from November, attributed to enhanced mining rewards and an uptick in Bitcoin's price. Uh, Riot Platforms witnessed an increase in production in DC 2023, producing 619 Bitcoin at a daily rate of 20 BTC, uh, marking a 35% increase from November. Uh, despite a better performance in DEC, the company's effective utilization rate was 69%, raising questions about the lower mining performance compared to peers. Riot Platforms is also advancing the development of its Corsicana facility in Texas, aiming to elevate its self-mining hash rate to 28 EH per second by the end of 2024. Uh, Deer's DEC 2023 performance was also notable, yielding 434 BTC, 149.4% increase from DEC 2022. Uh, uh, this surge in productivity was achieved despite a decrease in operational hash rate to 6.7 EH forward second, owing to the retirement of 6,000 legacy mining machines, and that the company's strategic expansion for coming years includes constructing a 175 megawatt immersion cooling data center in Norway and a 221 megawatt data center in Ohio, with both projects slated following completion in 2025. And stopping their standard formally across anybody mining their stock and was in mid-wind. This state is beyond mark and mind stopping India while after beyond is on 10% 15. Approximately $126.9 million by the end of December 2023. Uh, in December alone, in a clean spark, mined 720 bitcoins, maintaining an operational hash rate of 10.08 EHS with a 99% utilization. Uh, High Digital experienced a slight reduction in their daily mining rate in December 2023, mining a total of 282.8 Bitcoin at a rate of 9.1 BTC per day uh, with them. Despite this, their self-mining revenues increased by 15 to $12 million in December, bolstered by higher Bitcoin rewards and a rise in Bitcoin's price. The high digital sold 203 Bitcoin, which constituted 72% of their monthly production and added 80 BTC to their HODL, totaling 1,707 BTC, valued at 72.1 million at the end of December 17. And there's six of the Bitcoins of low Bitcoin reason. The SEC's approval of spot Bitcoin ETFs on January 10th uh, could significantly affect Bitcoin's market dynamics. Larry Fink, CEO of BlackRock, highlighted Bitcoin ETFs as a game changer for the finance industry indicating a substantial interest from mainstream financial sectors. Uh, moreover, this development could introduce considerable capital into the Bitcoin market. Analysts have predicted that the approval could lead to upwards of $50, $100 billion fucking dollars flowing into Bitcoin ETFs in U.S. alone, potentially increasing DTC's market value. Uh, in the context of Bitcoin mining, an increase in Bitcoin's market price, partly fueled by the influx of capital from ETFs, could positively impact miners' profitability. Uh, this is particularly relevant as the Bitcoin mining community braces for the halving event in 2024, which will reduce the block reward from 6.25 to 3.125 Bitcoins. Uh, historically, halving events have led to an increase in Bitcoin's price uh, due to reduced supply growth. Uh, and in preparation for the 2024 Bitcoin halving, miners are strategically adapting. Key steps include upgrading to the latest, most efficient mining hardware like the AntMiner S19 XP to maximize the hash rate efficiency and, and they're also investing in sustainable and cheaper energy sources crucial for profitability as block rewards drop. And additionally, miners are building cash reserves and diversifying into high performance computing and cloud services, ensuring financial stability and operational resilience in the face of reduced mining rewards.